Hello to everyone. Welcome to the Educate WP YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to add a support chat box to your WooCommerce website. Before we begin the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the like button if you are interested in more content like this. As you can see, this is a sample website with no chat box here. To add a support chat box, First, we must install the plugin on WordPress. The link to the plugin can be found in the video description. When you click on the link, you will be directed to this page. Here, we have the plugin named Support Board. Support Board is a WordPress plugin that allows you to automate client interactions by using artificial intelligence driven bots and a chat system that is integrated with the most popular platforms. By purchasing this plugin, you will be able to add a chat box to your store. You can preview the plugin by clicking on the preview button here. And this is how it's gonna look in your store. So let's get started. Before we move ahead, today's video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create a native Android and iOS mobile application. Get the opportunity to grab 30% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description, since I have already downloaded the plugin. Let me show you how to install the plugin. First, navigate to the folder where you saved your plugin. It'll be in compressed form. Unzip it. Here, we need to install this file to add the plugin to our WordPress. To install the plugin, first, navigate to the WordPress dashboard. Now go to the plugin option on the dashboard's left side and select Add New. This takes you to the WordPress plugin page. By clicking the Upload button, you can upload the plugin. Let's select the file and then upload it. Once the file has been uploaded, Click the Install button. After installation, you will be redirected to the next page, where you will have the choice to activate the plugin. Now, click the Activate button. As you can see, the plugin is active now. On the dashboard, you will be able to see the Support Board plugin has been added. Click on it. This will be the chat box dashboard. Here, you can see the customer's messages and other settings to customize your chat box. Let's go to our store now. Here, you can see the chat box has been added. And let's say if the customer wrote anything in here, you will be able to see the message in the admin chat box dashboard. Let's go through some of the plugin settings here on the chat setting. Here, you can enable or disable the chat widget to display when the user's logged in. Likewise, you can enable or disable the dashboard display. If you enable the dashboard, the chat box will look like this. You also have an option to enable the automatic language translator. This will be a great feature to interact with more customers. By enabling the open automatically, the chat will pop open whenever a new message is received. Now, let's go to the Messages option. You can activate the offline message when a user's first message is sent outside of established office hours or when all agents are offline. On the Privacy message, you will be able to show a privacy message with Accept and Decline options. To utilize the chat, the user must first click Accept. Like that, you can add pop up messages follow-up messages, welcome messages, and so on. Now here on the notification setting, you will be able to manage all the notification features. On the sound option, you can add sound when a user receives an incoming message or sends outgoing messages. Below that, do the same with the admin notification if needed. The agent email notification is when a user responds and the agent is unavailable, it will send an email to the agent. And for a new discussion, an email is automatically sent to all agents. Here on the user notifications, when an agent responds while the user is offline, it will send an email to the user. 
You can also add a desktop notification and a flash notification. There is some other option here to play around with. Always save the progress. Let's see the design feature. In this setting, you can customize your chat box colors and other engaging features. Here you can add primary color for your chat widget. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, the color has been applied here. Likewise, we can add the secondary color to the chat widget. Below that, you have the option to change the position of the widget. Enabling the RTL feature activates the right to left reading layout. If you scroll down, here you can find the option to add the built-in button icon. Also, you have the option to add background texture to the chat widget. Now on the WordPress settings. Here you have a great feature to add a multilingual plugin. Set the multilingual plugin you're using or disable it if your site only utilizes one language. In the force language setting, we can force the chat to ignore language preferences and always use the same language. And in the translation feature, you will be able to add multiple preferred languages to translate. So that's how you add a support chat widget to your web store. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any queries related to WooCommerce or WordPress, let us know in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.